Now well, it's next day, Sunday morning. I just cut these two. I'll do this one. I'll film this one so you can see what I did. Just wanted to get set up. So that's pretty much what I'm after. There's a little gap there, but it won't actually move up. I don't know. Might be a little bit on it. But I don't mind. Decorate this cock on that. And like I said, these walls are pretty flush. Pretty straight, I mean. So I'm just cutting the boards to the same width. If they're like that, I'll scribe a little bit off the back to pull one or the other. A little gap there. I was expecting that. The back walls are pretty straight, so these are pretty straight. But if I if I made a sliding shelf that slid on, I wouldn't I wouldn't you know, know whether there was a gap there anyway. But that wasn't my intention to get it right back. So plenty of glue on there. I might even just pin it. I was going to clamp it, I might just pin it on. I'll cut this one. And it's the same as the top. You know, scribe one end, measure, scribe the other end. It's just a little bit awkward because you're upside down on this one. And that one. And the gaps underneath there. It's not too bad. Same there. Might even slide over a little bit. It's within caulking distance. So, as always with the board back to the wall, that's your reference point. That doesn't change. I'll lift that up and I'll make one initial scribe line along there. So, I don't know if you can see, there's one line along there. It's still hanging down like that. to remind me which is that back corner and if I can hold this up with one hand so that fits fairly well now so what I'll do stay what I'll do is now measure across there and I'll put a pencil mark from there that distance onto there and scribe that end Right, I've just wedged it in just for you, for the camera. So I'll, I'll take that out and I'll just hold it up by hand. I've got my pencil mark there, that's that distance on there. I'll scribe that one in now. top exactly the same and I'm going to number these right I'll just put my square on there I don't know if you can see but this bottom one is just a millimetre or two forward I'll put my square on that end you see the light shining through the top no choice I could scribe that back or see what that one's like I can't see <laughs> Need me ladders, but I think I'll just pull that top one forward by that millimetre or so. When I fix it on, I'll 
I'll put a square one, put a nail at each end. These boards are cut straight, you know, straight that way. So they should, you know, be square in the middle as well, if I do each end. Regular glue on this one. I'll put some pencil lines to show where my timbers are. I'm just going to nail it on with 18 gauge nails. Right, lots of glue, but the joint's okay. Blue tissue is probably not the best to wipe the glue off with. <laughs> just a single row of pins down the middle. Alright, same again for little shelves. Only difference being just putting 40 mil screws in because I've got to get screws in here and I'm limited to space. I'm just putting these on little X to the side of the line that I'm working so so I don't make mistakes. And to get these ones in, I'm going to put one that one in and that one. Screw that back, then mark these, take it all off, then I can drill them. So those ones first. I'll line them up, hit them with hammer, drill them, and I put that screw in, that screw in. Then I can mark this one, put a screw in, hit it, take it all off, drill those, then I can screw it all back to the wall. So uh, I've got that one in and that one. Now I can mark these. I can drill them now. Now the shelves are done. I'm just going to get some shelves inside here. It's always awkward getting shelves in. I can never scribe them quite as neatly as this because just simply can't get them in. So just put a button on here for the top to screw the top on. And I've left it just a fraction low, lower than this. So when the top comes on and I screw that up, it'll pull it down hard onto this edge because there's no beading going around here. So I want that top to be right down. But we get a batten around similar to this and a basin and like I've said to him it won't be perfect it'll be it'll need a bit of decorator's cork and just whitewash it it's inside there be right but before I can put the base in I need to get these doors lined up you see they stepped out slightly there don't know why yeah I've knocked it a little bit what I need to do is fix the top down. So I've just put a couple of band, uh, brackets on the back. Same again, I've left them below. So when I screw them up, it'll pull the top down. It's sort of nice to leave the top off so that I can work inside, but I've got to get I've got to get these doors straight because when I put the bottom on, I'm gonna have to wriggle these legs just a little bit. And there might be a little gap down here. And I'll get them, get them in twist for when I get them in twist. So I glue this top on, pull this straight because so I think it's a little bent. Pull this straight. I'll pull the bottom of the doors in a little bit. And I can big all the legs to get them twisted. So you see I've fixed the top in, I don't know if you can see, there's a pencil line there and I've pushed this front frame back, back a little, so they're flush and I'm not far off at the bottom. So what I need to do now is check the gaps, you see this door's a little low, so if I give that a tap. See that's pulled it up straight now. What I'm going to do is put a sort of tube frame around here and put a couple of brackets here and there. But when I fix this bottom leg, I'll 
just try and make sure that I stick to that mark there and I'll check my gaps when I do, as I do it. Right, to get this base in, starting at the front here, I fixed this frame back with a couple of brackets that are hidden down there and one in the middle here to stop that moving around. But I've just got, like I say, an assortment of packers. I've got 9mm there and a red plastic one, I think that's 6mm. 18mm there, plus the black. 18mm plus the black there. So that, that finishes flush. This is a piece of the ply that I'm going to be putting in the base. Probably get away with 9mm, but then it might be a bit spongy. So that's flush. And I put my packers that way around. So then, I can put some more timber on top like that. And what I need to do now is level it around or, you know, get it flat. But sometimes all I do is go parallel. You can either get it level, but if your skirting's out, it looks a dog. So I can either, either put it in level and then it ends up sloped, or I probably just put it in parallel with the, with the skirting. It's just going to be boxes going in here, so I'm probably just going to go parallel with the skirting. Or, yeah, see, I've got 18 and a black there, but I've only got nine and a red, so I've got nine, nine and six, whatever that is, 15 mil there, but I've got best part of 20 mil there. We'll see. I don't think five mil will show on the skirting. Especially seeing as there's another shelf going in the middle here. Alright, so I skip the black one in the middle. See, there's a black one here. Skip that one because the floor kicks up a bit. You see, it kicks up a little bit. But it's 970 is this, and my long level's one metre. So I can't get it in. Well, it's 930 actually between the skirt and it's 970 on the wall. So even for doing these, I can't get my level on. So, I'll do, get a board in there now, get these screwed down, get a board in and try and get it fitting as close as I can. I don't really care if it's got a 5mm gap down either side though. I better mention that these screws are only 50mm, so it's 20mm, nearly 20mm there, so they're only going into this 10mm. I try not to make them any longer than just going into the floorboard. I don't really want them poking through. So those wires probably just go down below the joists, but you never know. So don't have long screws that are just gonna shoot into pipes or wires or anything into the floorboards, that's all it needs. And they're sitting down, you know, there's three, six, nine, there's 12 screws in there. It's not gonna go anywhere. Right, I forgot I've got fancy festival gadget. I can get my angles. That's only any good if that back wall's straight. So I found a piece of timber that is surprisingly very straight. So I can sit that in there. <laughs> that back wall's straight, oh pretty much. I'll set my angle to that and get it in there, well, yeah. I'll set my angle to that. I'll cut my boards. I'm chasing the weather again today. It's a bit rainy outside and I wasn't thinking. And I just cut an 8 before board off like that. One, two, three, four, five. I just cut four stri five strips. Should have gone that way. Normally I have the grain going across like that. Doesn't really matter. So I set the angle, but fancy pants festival thing, it's meant for the chop saw. So you're still sort of guessing a little bit. Gotta line that up. Gotta line that up. And you're still sort of guessing a little bit. Try and get it in the right place. But it'll be near enough. I'll mark that one. Measure my distance in there, mark it on there, and get that angle, cut it, and see if I can get it in. 
should be able to get this bottom one in. It's the shelf that's the difficulty. For that I'll have to put battens around, get all my measurements and everything like this. Cut the shelf and probably take off take off the end buttons maybe, get the shelf in, lift it up, screw the buttons back on, put the shelf back down. So it's a pain. There's two shelves in that one. And finally before this goes in, you see it's not a bad fit. It's a bit tight. You see it's very slightly out at this end. I was tempted to bang it down, but I've learned that you get halfway down and it still won't go down you can't get the bugger back out then you can't get your fingers under can't get a blade under so I'm just going to take a bit more off make it loose to make it drop in just going to screw it down no glue so, screw that down could just pin it down but I like the screws to hold it down plus it comes out easier if ever you need to get to the sockets or something. Um, I pulled this front frame to suit the doors so there's a little gap there and a little gap there but I'm not bothered about that because not this up here obviously but there's going to be a stop on there for the bottom of the doors to clap up against and I'll cover that once it's painted that's quite a good fit. Shelf now. That's a pain. Right, that's where I wanted to put my shelf. That's the top of the baton and the board will go on top. But I'm going to get a baton along here. So I think if I raise it up a bit, I'll just put a 20mm baton on there. So I've set it up. It was, it was sat on these. 8-9mm. So I've raised it up another 10mm, so I should get 20mm across there now. It's a bit awkward to get in there with an hammer, so choosing that one. shelf in as usual because buttons are on so I have to take the buttons off again but at least they're there I uh, should just be able to screw them back on it means I've got to get the shelf in there uh, that was hard work I got it in almost there but couldn't move it anymore so I ended up trying to get it out couldn't bloody get it out eventually I did get it out but I ended up cutting off five mil so little gap down there, little gap down there. But now, now that it's in, damage that back corner a little bit. But now that it's in, I'll sit that timber on. I decided to go up with a piece of beach. So as I was saying, now that's in, I can sit this piece of beach on. I was just going to go with a piece of two by one. But I decided it's a bit fat. Now I've got a rip saw, but then it ends up with a saw edge. So I went home, got some beach, planed it down. So what I'll do is sit that on the front of there. I need to put a little packer on here just to push it back a little. Otherwise, the door binds on the inside of the edge of it, on the face of the, sh the shelf. So what I'll do is sit that back a fraction either side, make a pencil mark on there and on there, cut that with track so then this will fit on the front, that'll be going on the front like that, with some biscuits, get this back out again now, I've taken the buttons off underneath look, that's what my foot's doing, now I'll leave that overnight, let the glue dry properly, Nice big gaps to fill. But even though I took 5mm off, it was still a pain in the neck to get in and out. 
Oh, well, that was fun. Two to do in this one. Sometimes miss working on sites. A bit of boom. Anyway, this is going to go on the inside of that. That way up. You want that screw close to that screw because there might be a bit of flex in between. I don't measure the middle, but if you balance it, it just on your fingers, when you pick it up, you can almost feel it's balanced. That's normally the middle, unless there's a big knot, knots are heavier. Put one in the middle. So I'll glue and screw that on, like I did on the other one. I'll just leave it slightly low so that it'll pull the top down onto this, onto the speech frame. I'll get that in. You might be thinking, why not leave the top off so you can get your shelves in easier? Don't work like that. So you've still got these in where all of these tried it, built many of these, and there's just I haven't found an easier solution. Could build the shelves first and put the front on, but you never really know where where that's going to be exactly. Right, top's fixed on. I've got a bracket down there holding the bottom of that leg. So if I get these two, get them flush. You can see it's out a bit there. That leg's loose now. So what I can do is tap that out. See what it's like, see what it's like now. That's not bad actually. I'll put a fixing down there. I'll just put another bracket like that. And I'll get one in the middle. Alright, so they're good. That's fixed down there. These brackets. Two holes. Just show you on this one. Two holes and then adjustment. The adjustment should really go up to your top to allow it to move just a little bit. But here, I don't want this moving backwards and forwards. So I put it with the screws down so that it can't move. It swings around about this. I don't really want it to go up and down, but I definitely don't want it to go this way. You could find that you've got the base in and you, everything, and you shut the doors and you find that this has been kicked. So that's solid there. Same over there. Same again, I'll put that one in the middle. I'll just check my doors again first. Alright, so all the shelves are sanded. It's quite a neat edge. Hopefully that little little lip, you can hardly see it. Hopefully that little lip won't show through. Nice. All finished now, apart from put a little beach stop bead and that's sanded off. All I've got to do is put a couple of these on the inside here. I like to buy these ones, same as what you can get at Screw Fix, but I get them a little bit cheaper. But they are really, really strong magnet. I bought enough to go top and bottom. I won't on this one, but sometimes. It's nice to put another one at the bottom of there, but I avoid putting two on because they are too strong. When you you come with your bunny doors, it, yeah, it's quite hard. You now I get them on. So they're on. And I use my own screws. Threw the ones away that came with it. These are just little little round heads. That little one's done. Move over there now, do exactly the same. A bit of skirting to go around the bottom, and that's it. I 
Well, that's it.